hello let me take let me test um if this uh platform is now free i don't know if people will be able to get notified that i'm live hello my people how are you people doing hello hello i don't know <laughs> whether the video is going out or i am the only one seeing myself because uh, facebook have been doing their things the way they like the way they <laughs> wish is the platform belongs to them let me see how long it will take before people will see the video i know that i try to start streaming from other part but most of the followers are here greetings my people welcome to today's program if you can hear me just raise up your hand and say yes i can hear you how on a day good morning good afternoon good evening good whatever from whichever area you are tuning in to today's program there is something a wake-up call that i want i would like to send out to our people i hope my voice is coming out clear and this wake-up call is all about us okay okay greetings it's all about us that are clamoring for better Nigeria, better Africa, better black world. Watching from Mozambique. Hello. Okay, okay. Greetings. Share the video. Let others join. Alert them that I am live. Facebook has been doing a lot of things that I don't know the reason why they created it. They just created these platforms and make it free for us to use. All our programs that we are sending out from this page, everything is being censored, you know, shadow bound. It's unacceptable. We're only using the platform for ourselves, and they are using their platform to control the mind of people. So, without further ado, let me continue. All of us are clamoring for good governance in Africa, all of us are pushing for something good to come to Africa. But let me tell you, the only thing that was given to Africa free of charge, and I will also question you people, if I made mention of that, if you will have question or answer to give on it, please try that to your page is YouTube, but I only found Middle Africa just for okay um i shared the link of my page the facebook page and the youtube page i shared it on this platform you may look for it if you click on it you will come in i said all my platform are be shadow bound people cannot find if it, i myself can't even find myself <laughs> that's how bad it is you may be hearing noise sorry you may be hearing noise, train is moving over there, you know, so the noise is too much. Sorry for that. But uh, now it's over. Let me continue where I stopped. We have been clamoring for a lot of things, development and uh, changes in our various um, countries and communities in Africa. But there is one thing that was given to Africa free of charge. And that thing that was given to Africa free of charge, the people that wanted to dish out that thing has a plan. They has a plan. I will come, I will mention about it. But before I will mention, I would like to go around so that when I mention it, your brain will wake up and you start taking deep. Look, this thing, they make, make, sure, they make, they make sure that those things reach every corner of Africa. Every tribe in Africa, everybody, whether you speak Hausa, Yoruba, Ibibio, Isoko, name it, whatever you speak, 
they make sure that those things reaches you in your own mother tongue. And most of you may find out what I'm about to say. That is Bible. Religion. Religion, both in Islam and Christianity. The Bible was translated in various languages in Africa. Every language. Nigeria has not less than over 600 or something languages, you know, in Nigeria. And the Bible and religion was translated to reach every inch and corner of any part of Africa. But did you know the reason why it was made that way? The reason why is that they made it that way to make you according to what they are trying to preach to you, according to what they want to promote to you, to tell you that your ancestors are evil, that your ancestors are bad. They even made it that there are the sins of the ancestors, the sins of your fathers and forefathers. Which sins did our fathers and forefathers committed? Did they colonize any country? Did they enslave anybody? Did they plunder any country? Did they steal and kill entire village only for them to steal from the people? I am talking about our ancestors now. That we are praying, may Holy Ghost fire their sins in Jesus' name. May Holy Ghost fire destroy them in Jesus' name. We keep on praying this thing every day. But there is something that white people refuse to give to you in your mother tongue. There is something that white people refuse to hand out to you in your mother tongue. Before religion comes, mathematics has been there. Did they translate mathematics to any dialect in Africa? Did the white people translate anything mathematics in any language of Africa? To make sure that you understand mathematics in your mother tongue. No. Did they translate physics in the mother tongues of Africa? Did they translate physics so that any part of Africa will understand physics in your mother tongue? No. Geography. Name it. Everything that the world needs to develop itself has never ever been translated in any African language. If you come to all world world developing worlds, Germans are doing everything in their mother tongue, English are doing their own in their mother tongue, Chinese are doing everything in their mother tongue, Japanese are doing it in their mother tongue, every Asian country are doing it in their mother tongue. The only continent that was excluded from that thing is Africa. But they make sure that branches of churches, branches of Bible, reach every inch and corner of Africa. But they don't have time to translate the thing that will promote you. I'm not going to stop here. Now you are praying and thinking about the sins of your forefathers, the crime that your forefathers committed. Oh my God, look at you. Look at me. Where am I? Rolling about in white man world. <laughs> with no shelter, with no dignity, with no history, with nothing. But them that their forefathers came to Africa to enslave you, to steal from you, to govern you, to rule over you, to rape your children, your wife, and wipe the entire community, and steal everything precious in your life. Is, that is not the ancestors, right? How many Holy Ghost fire is destroying them? None. How many sins of the fathers is pursuing them? <laughs> None. The only people. So, the reason why I'm saying this, I just want Africans, not only that we want good leaders, a good leader, how many powers are we going to, are we ready 
to dish out to him for him to do the good work. Because don't forget that a good leader will make sure there will be lesser churches in Nigeria and more industries in Nigeria. So how many of you will see that leader as a good person or you are going to see him as agent of devil? The leader that will move the country of Africa forward will make sure that lesser Bible are being printed in the continent and more of science and technologies will be translated to every dialect of Africa, not Bible. Why am I saying this? You keep on praying to God. God in heaven should come down and water the earth. God should come down from heaven and butter your bread. God should come down from heaven and do A and B. <laughs> you forgot that the God you are calling is yourself. You are the God. All of us are gods. The only thing that put everything different is that you require force of nature to do good not to do bad. We are God. We are devil. We, human beings. Because those forces we are looking for, those forces we are seeking for, that it should come down and do whatever for us, is within us. It's within our reach. That is we. <laughs> because without human being on planet, there will be nobody worshipping God. There is nothing like God and nothing will happen that means the god you are calling and you the little gods two of you are one all you need is to acquire the power to do good or to do bad that's to tell you devil that we are talking about hellfire hellfire is me and you devil is both of us example if you come in the world today the God we are seeing, as far as the world is concerned, is United States of America. That is the God governing the planet today, as I'm talking to you. Any country they want, they will plunder you, they will kill you, and nothing will happen. Any country they like, they will become Jesus Christ to you, they will help your economy to grow, they will do all sorts of things, they will make you feel and test the value of the planet. Who are they? They are human beings. They have acquired the power and they may use it for good, they may use it for bad. And for us to acquire such a power to move our future from A to B, we must first of all accept whom we are. Stop this churchianization of the entire African continent or the Islamization of the entire African continent. Let us start translating the books that the world is using to build, to manufacture, to research in our dialect. We must not speak because England knows that for every Nigerian or every African to grow up from their mother tongue and start adopting English language. After adopting the language, you will now utilize the language to start learning for a way to better your life, like learning science, learning a lot of things in their language. You will have limitations. But if all these books are translated in your mother tongue, you will know that most of our mothers don't need to go to the English university to acquire knowledge in manufacturing, in physics, in a lot of things. Like, let me give you examples. The Muslim, Islam, Islamic people, there are Islamic scholars that never went to Nigerian universities, but they are well educated in Islamic world, in Arabic world. They are using Arabic that they know to acquire certificates and levels in various angles of Islamic world. That's to tell you, if at all, 
all these books, all these, these things that are helping the world to grow will be translated in our mother tongue, in Igbo language, in Yoruba, in Hausa language. You will see that we will be able to have our own university in our... Look at Nigerians. Nigerians are in Russia learning a lot of things, becoming engineer in Russian language. Nigerians are in Chinese, going to university, acquiring knowledge in Chinese language. Why can't we acquire the same thing in Igbo, Hausa or Yoruba? I just want to give you people another exam so that you guys should go and start digging to find out how to solve this simple mathematics. Can we be able to do it? Are we human beings? Is Africa human that has brain like other tribes that have alleviated themselves and their people from this <laughs> language slavery? You know? Why do I use the word language slavery? Because English... Oh, let me sit down, my people. Uh, let me sit down and stand this camera. I hope I'm making sense in what I'm saying. Because England knows that if 1,000 Nigerians want to become doctors, because of the language barrier, maybe 20% of them will make it. The remaining will fall out. But if those 100 we are learning that thing in their mother tongue, 99.9% .9 of them will pass it and become something useful for the community. So what I'm telling you people is this. Africa, everything that we are looking for to liberate ourselves, we have a lot to do. I said we have not yet started. Why am I saying this? Because P2B may get into power and they may not do much that will touch you. Why? Because <laughs> there are a lot of things to do. Lot of things. People are in church calling God, praising Jesus. You can never develop yourself from church. A country can never grow from worshipping God inside church. Everything you are demanding from God. I know that most of you may call me Antichrist now. But I will tell you the, the truth. All things that you are demanding from God is already in your palms. I said you are God. Because through you, another human being is being created. God, Jesus, is not coming from heaven using spirit and sand and creating human beings. You must sleep with a woman to manufacture another woman. That is Porokotom Pia. And that shows that you are God. Whether you accept it or you did not accept it is none of my business. But I'm here to dish it out to you. If all Africans stop getting married to women, they will die out and that continent will be empty. Or another tribe will come and take over. As the Israelis take over the identity of the black Israelis from Palestine. The issue that I'm giving out, all those professors in Africa that studied their mother and their father from University of Otrupo in England to the University of Otrupo in America. Have you ever dreamed? All of you are writers, authors of books, writing whatever. Have you ever remember to start translating those books to your mother tongue? Or is it, is it not uh, doable? Because Oyibo, white man, is not doing it on your behalf. And they will never ever do it. You are demanding for technology transfer. The technology you want them to transfer is the same thing. You are, you are learning it now in their language. But the real technology transfer got to be in your mother tongue, in your own language. 
like me now, if I want to study programming, the programming language will be in English as it is, the founders, but the other curriculums that they will use to learn it will be in Igbo, so that I will be able to use Igbo codes to hack. I will use Igbo code to build something. But we are the way belong. All the whole living though this phone I'm using now. Yeah, before I don't find Igbo language. I don't know whether Igbo I can translate my phone to Igbo and use it as an Igbo man. I don't know whether it's still possible. Or some words will be in Igbo and the remaining will still be in foreign language. So what I'm about to say is that Africans should start translating those physics, those books you bought that belongs to you, start rewriting everything in Igbo language, in Hausa, in Yoruba, in Ibibio, in your mother tongue, for better tomorrow. For better tomorrow. Before white man came to our area, we have been producing machine to manufacture our palm oil. Am I lying? If our forefathers knows how to fix iron and press oil out of um, 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 the car, whatever you call it, it means we have technology. All we need is to write it so that the younger ones will, that learn how to speak Igbo will read it and pick the iron and do one plus one. The machine is there. The machine is there. So that is my program today, my people. That's all I have to you to, to dish out. If you have question or if you have anything to chip in, you have to chip it in. Because Africa need to the independent we are seeking for need to be in various dimensions, not only on one way. So thank you, my people. Remain blessed. Bye-bye for now.